know at this moment every second minute one indian is dying of covid and to be able to counter this monumental challenge uh, the government going out of its way to mobilize resources the prime minister met with the chief of defense staff extra military personnel brought into service uh, also the indian air force the indian railways going all out in an effort to ensure that at the earliest possible the availability of basic facilities like oxygen supplies enhancing the number of beds is taken care of so that uh, even if we can't immediately stem the flow of the virus at least people have the bare minimum necessities required to be able to deal with the coronavirus patients left untreated for hours people struggling to find icu beds oxygen the first line of treatment against covid a luxury every minute two people are succumbing to the deadly virus the second wave of coronavirus has crippled india's healthcare system as hospitals burst at the seams every institution is being roped into battle the surge in cases from the armed forces to railways to industries everyone is chipping in railways are running trains to stay desperate for oxygen the indian air force is airlifting empty oxygen tankers to filling stations across the country to boost oxygen supply on monday Prime Minister Modi was briefed by the Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat on how the armed forces were helping out. The armed forces to have recalled all medical personnel who had retired in last two years to work in COVID facilities. The ITBP has set up a 500 oxygen bed hospital in Delhi. The DRDO has opened a 900 bed facility in Ahmedabad. It's a war like situation as India recorded more than 22 lakh cases in a span of a week. COVID-19 is showing no signs of abating. The real test is in how medical attention can be reached to every person infected by the virus. Pure report India today. Received information that the Indian government has reached out to both the primary pharma companies in the country that are selling uh, the COVID-19 vaccine and urging them to reduce prices. We've got Rahul Shrivastav joining us. Our national affairs editor Sneha Mordani tracks the health sector for us. I want to go across Rahul Shrivastav first. Covaxin is being sold at 1200 rupees uh, at private hospitals and Covishield at 600. What are your sources telling you? Uh, what kind of an effort is the government making, and to what extent do they want these pharma companies to reduce prices, Rahul? Now the latest point of friction. Uh, as far as the battle against uh, COVID-19 is concerned, is the friction over the pricing. With most chief ministers already terming the pricing formula as unfair and discriminatory, and also four uh, chief ministers coming out openly saying one availability before May 15 is questionable, and the pricing where the centre gets at a much lower price and the state getting higher is unfair. Now, what we are told by our sources that there was a meeting. Uh, between the cabinet secretary uh, officials of the pmo uh, from the niti ayog dr vk paul and others and a kind of a uh, uh, indication a gentle nudge has been sent out to uh, uh, the companies it's not an order remember it's not an order it's not a missive it's not a written communication it's kind of those gentle internal communication nudges which has been given to these two companies that they should try and ensure if they can look at the volume and bring down the prices some bit okay sneha mordani tracks these pharma companies for us uh, can you tell us how they have arrived at this price 600 rupees for uh, private hospitals for covishield and 1200 for covaxin and is there at all any acceptance that maybe now that the government's nudging them they will look at reducing prices 
Well, uh, Rahul, the pha uh, pharmaceutical companies have been of the opinion that 150 rupees a dose that they've given to the center certainly is a special price. That is not something that's going to help them sustain uh, the manufacturing of these doses, the production of which is going to go up manifold. It already has started. And also, for example, Covaxin, Bharat Biotech has been extremely vocal, saying that this is a vaccine that is inactivated. Remember, it requires a BSL-3 facility. Bharat Biotech has got a BSL-3 facility in Hyderabad. It's not a vaccine that can be developed in any manufacturing facility. And hence, the cost of manufacturing this vaccine is extremely high. Pharmaceutical companies are of the opinion that right now they have to think long term. And this is something that has been communicated in that meeting that was held today. That we have to think about the fact that the virus is mutating. There is fair amount of tweaking that we have to do when it comes to innovation. And for this reason, we have to have finances. Uh, you know that we have taken money from you is what the pharmaceutical companies have communicated to the government. Remember, uh, 4,500 crores has been given already by the government to both of these companies, 3,000 3, crore to Serum Institute and 1,500 to Bharat Biotech. There is support as far as the Department of Biotechnology is also concerned, both uh, financial support and of course, uh, the technical know-how from the ICMR as far as Bharat Biotech is concerned. So the government has said, that look at considering this given the fact that there is pressure this matters also in court and that companies must also look at the position that the center has found itself in with the states okay. now saying that how can at the end of the day differential pricing be justified okay so 15 uh, 150 rupees is what this union government is being charged 400 rupees is what the state governments are being charged in the case of serum and 600 in the case of uh, Bharat Biotech efforts being made to try and reduce that gap. Let's see the extent to which this succeeds. The 1st of May is when uh, these uh, vaccines will be available in the private sector. Thanks very much Rahul Srivastava and Sneha Mordani for that update. Let's move on now. Uh, for a long time, there's a lot of chatter within India, a sense of great betrayal and disappointment with the Biden administration in the United States for not doing enough to come to India's aid at a time of such grave health crisis. Finally, the United States seems to have shaken off its slumber and has announced a slew of measures aimed at mitigating the crisis in India. Apart from this, our friends in Germany, Japan, uh, the United Kingdom also coming out and rolling out a slew of measures aimed at helping India in the fight against the COVID-19 virus. India's vaccine Maitri finally paying off. The world which received medicines and vaccines from India is now returning the favour. Chipping in with oxygen and other COVID fighting tools. India's squad ally, the United States, bowed after facing much flak after initially denying vaccine raw material. It took a call from NSAIG Doval to his US counterpart to bring a U-turn in the United States stand. In a major diplomatic victory, President Joe Biden tweeted out a list of measures and support coming India's way. Meanwhile, the first batches of high-capacity container shipment that landed in Delhi were from Singapore and Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia's Linde company is working with the Adani Group and the Tata Group to provide liquid oxygen and containers. Russia, UAE, Hong Kong, Singapore, Germany, France, Denmark and the European Union are trying to first look into the oxygen shortage being faced by India and are looking to provide oxygen concentrators and increase transportation capabilities. As a friend, Denmark is a friend and Denmark companies are a friend of India. So what, uh, when we heard about this uh, shortage of oxygen, we looked into how we could uh, supply and help and assist India. So now there is a concrete or tangible cooperation between the Indian government and uh, MERS to assist India in bringing uh, these uh, oxygen tanks to, to, to India. India has pressed the Indian Air Force into action. IAF transport planes are airlifting 23 mobile oxygen generation plants from Germany. Other countries are also stepping up. The UK announced more than 600 pieces of medical equipment in form of COVID-19 assistance to India. 
We've been working this weekend to put together a package of support which is now on its way to India of ventilators and oxygen concentrators to help to save lives right now. This shows that this disease isn't over yet. Even China and Pakistan are stepping in to help. Pakistan also has offered ventilators and other medical equipments as gesture of solidarity. But there has been no response from New Delhi yet on the offer. With Geeta Mohan in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. While help is on its way, both uh, from abroad and uh, oxygen supplies from different parts of the country, the situation at the country's hospitals still remains grim. Long lines for virtually every aspect of healthcare, from looking for medicines to trying to get admitted to trying to find oxygen to even trying to cremate a loved one. Massive queues, lines and a very, very tough situation still presenting itself to our country. India's endless wait, where long agonizing lines have become a defining part of the common citizen's day. From oxygen, to ambulances, to medicines, to even crematoriums. The crushing wait from life to death. Breaking India's spirit and testing citizens to the maximum. Let's start with the immediate crisis over oxygen. Long lines of ambulances sitting outside Delhi's RML hospital with empty oxygen cylinders. Ambulance drivers tell the tale of dying patients. No, 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 we have to get a plant in India. 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 Then the snaking lines outside hospitals where admitting patients has become the most difficult task on hand. Like this hospital in Gujarat where tempers have been flying. Ambulance ke bhi logo ko kafi to ka samna karna padra hai. To aapko dikha hai ki jo mariz hai, mariz ko andar hi sari treatment di ja rahi hai taki kam se kam jab tak unko aspital mein bad mile वो ठीक रहे उनका जो ऑक्सीजन है वो ऑक्सीजन लेवल यहाँ पे बना रहे उनको ऑक्सीजन दिया जा रहा है एम्बुलेंस के अंदर ही। Across cities and towns, the lines for COVID drugs in short supply have also been building up. Fueled by panic on WhatsApp forwards, people have been lining up to stock up on drugs even before actually needing them. People are very upset and distressed because major medicines like Remdesivir are not available but even uh, medicines like Fabi flu is not available. Then there's the bumper to bumper ambulance lines in different cities. A terrifying, defining image of just how overwhelmed hospitals are. These are lines in which people are being treated and dying in. We are at, outside this hospital, you can see a plethora of ambulances which are just Waiting to be pressed into service. क्या हाल है अभी कितने लोगों को सुबह से कल रात से कितने लोगों को लाना पड़ा हॉस्पिटल? अरे मैडम जी क्या करें गाड़ियाँ ही कम पड़ जाती हैं हमें लोग लगे पड़े हैं प्राइवेट वाले हम लोग एम्बुलेंस वाले तो बहुत कोई जाते नहीं तो हमें लोग जाना पड़ रहा है बार बार क्या सिचुएशन है क्या ह यहाँ आते हैं ऑक्सीजन नहीं मिल रही भैया आप करो कुछ हम लोग क्या कर सकते हैं बताओ गाड़ी में बैठ जाओ छोड़ देंगे दूसरी जगह वहाँ नहीं लेगा तो फिर कहाँ जाएंगे वो बेचारे रोते रहते हैं तड़पते रहते हैं क्या करें एंड द मोस्ट हार्ट ब्रेकिंग लाइंस ऑफ ऑल लाइंस आउटसाइड ओवरवेल्म्ड यहाँ पर धूधू करके लाशें जलती रहती हैं। ये जो जलती हुई लाशें दिख रही हैं, ये उन शेड्स के अंदर नहीं हैं, जहाँ पर आमतौर पर जलाया जाता है। लेकिन इतनी ज़्यादा लाशें होने के बाद खुले में लोग पीछे जलाने के लिए मजबूर हो गए। So overwhelmed are they by the constant lines that public parks are having to be used 
to consign the covid dead to the flames saray kale khan me bane samsan ghat ke bagal me ek park hai wahan par maujood hu राजधानी दिल्ली का सच यही है कि आप देख पा रहे हैं पार्क में बकायदा जो प्लेटफॉर्म है वो तैयार किया जा रहा है इन्हीं प्लेटफॉर्म पर अब जो है लोगों का अंतिम संस्कार होगा इंडिया एंडलेस लाइन द पैरालाइजिंग एंगजाइटी अ कंट्री वेटिंग एंड वंडरिंग जस्ट वेन दीज लाइन विल नो लॉन्गर बी ने ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टूडे One of the biggest challenges at this moment is organizing oxygen for your loved ones. And remember, had the government of the day woken up much earlier and started the mobilization that we're seeing now, maybe some of this oxygen could have been ready in advance. But no one was able to foresee the enormity of the challenge that would present itself. And now, while we are scrambling to arrange for extra oxygen supplies at Ground Zero. Uh, the situation continues to remain very grim ankit yagi with this ground report thank you for 62 year old ramesh bhatia is waiting in an auto rickshaw outside an oxygen refilling plant in narayana vihar in the national capital he is covid positive and has difficulty in breathing since last night he has been turned away by six hospitals हम पाँच छः जगह ट्राई करा हमें कुछ नहीं मनीफाल में उन्होंने कहा कि आप जाइए बेकार टाइम वेस्ट कर रहे हैं आप यहाँ पे टाइम वेस्ट कर रहे हैं आप कहीं और जाके ट्राई करिए और ढूंढने से तो भगवान मिल जाते हैं हमें तो कोई भगवान नहीं मिले हमें तो फिर वहीं पे ही आके खड़ा कर दिया एक्चुअली ऑक्सीजन उनकी सिक्सटी uh, हो गई है तो हो गई बहुत डिफिकल्ट है हाँ उन्होंने ही लगाया था डॉक्टर ने ही लगाया था अब हम लोगों ने सोचा कि अब ये सिलेंडर लेकर घर जाएंगे थोड़ा स्टेबल हो जाएंगे तो फिर कल देखेंगे कि कोई हॉस्पिटल में जगह मिलती है क्योंकि अभी तो उनकी कंडीशन ही नहीं है कि वो हॉस्पिटल में जा पाए Bhatia's wife and daughter are waiting for a refill of oxygen so that they can give him a fighting chance at home. Inko bed nahi diya gaya. Na cylinder ka koi intezam nahi kiya gaya. Inhone ka oxygen bharwa do fir hame ghar chhodo ghar chhodenge dekho kya hota hai. Koshish meri yahi rahegi ki inka kaam ban jaye. Baaki us parmatma ke haath mein hai jo kuch bhi hai. This lady Nina Bhatia has been told by hospitals after hospitals try and search for bed at somewhere else if you try and search you'll even get god possibly getting god searching for god in delhi is easier right now than to get a hospital bed this gentleman that you see sitting behind me in this auto who has gone from one hospital to another in hope of a oxygen bed which he has not been able to get now with the help of their auto rickshaw driver they have been we have come here to a refilling center in hope that they would be able to get a cylinder and will possibly go back and take their chance there the police here are guarding the most precious commodity in delhi right now hundreds wait outside to refill these empty cylinders risking contracting covid themselves all so that their loved ones suffering and struggling from covid can breathe a little longer नहीं हम रात को दो बजे से यहाँ खड़े हैं अब हमारा नंबर आ रहा है सर हमारे पेशेंट हॉस्पिटल में नहीं लिए जा रहे ऑक्सीजन हॉस्पिटल में जा रही है तो ये बताओ हम कहाँ जाएंगे हमें डॉक्टर कह रहा है आप घर पे इलाज कराओ तो हम कैसे देंगे ऑक्सीजन ये तो बता दो इस सरकार से पूछ लो भैया क्या चाह रही है नो बेड नो ऑक्सीजन कॉमन पीपल आर लेफ्ट टू बैटल फॉर सर्वाइवल ऑफ देर लव स्पेरिंग नो एफर्ट टू गिव देम शॉर्ट एट लाइफ मेरे मेरे बहुत सारे रिलेटिव हैं इस टाइम जो ऑक्सीजन के जिनको ऑक्सीजन के रिक्वायरमेंट है जिनको घर पे ही ट्रीट कर रहे हैं ऑक्सीजन की आवश्यकता है उनको बिल्कुल मैं एक क्वेश्चन पूछना चाहता हूँ आज सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट से स्टेट गवर्नमेंट से दोनों से ऑल पॉलिटिशियंस डिबेट तो बड़े अच्छे अच्छे कर लेते हैं हर न्यूज चैनल पे आके राइट टूडे वेयर इज आर पी सिंह वेयर इज राघव चड्डा वेयर इज बीजेपी वेयर इज आम आदमी पार्टी कोई भी नहीं है यहाँ पर पॉलिटिशियन डोंट केयर अबाउट अकाउंट मैन टॉल कोई मतलब नहीं है without food or water standing in the queue with precious time passing away for their loved ones is taking its toll as the police allow those with small cylinders people rush in the police are demanding paper proper work as they fear hoarding 
The situation is so bad that not just the common people but hospitals have sent their ambulances which are meant to transport uh, patients right now to try and get a refill to try and get cylinders back uh, to the hospitals. Long hours of wait turn into frustration leading to arguments. Everyone here is desperate, racing against time. And then a notice came, no refilling from 27th. From tomorrow, the struggle will continue at some other site as the city continues to grapple with lack of oxygen. Sense of anger, the abandonment at the hands of the government, the big question that all of them are asking, why is it that something as basic as oxygen which is important in the fight against COVID-19 to save the patients was not kept in adequate quantity and why are so many people struggling to get the basic things needed for survival. The camera person Dinesh Ankityagi in Narayana, India today. Now after this ground report on uh, the struggle to try and find oxygen cylinders, I want to show you what's happening at some of the key crematoriums where not just are bodies being brought in one after another there's now a huge pile up where people are having to wait for hours on end to get their relatives cremated Preeti Chaudhary with this story we are at the Seema Puri cremation grounds uh, they've extended the ground here because uh, the number of bodies that are coming in COVID positive bodies are far far more than the capacity of the Seema Puri cremation grounds. There are short of body bags. A lot of other NGOs have stepped in to help. But uh, as we speak, there is a waiting. There are people standing there with the bodies of their loved ones, waiting for them to get cre to cremate the bodies. And there's a huge queue. Uh, people have been waiting here for many hours just to get their turn, viewers, just to get their turns to burn cremate their loved ones. Reporting with camera person Hitesh Preeti Chaudhary at the Seema Puri cremation grounds for India today. At the Seema Puri crematorium grounds, everywhere you look, there are only fires burning, each to their own. <coughs> this is the parking lot viewers. This is the crematorium. People practically wheeling in their own the bodies of their own loved ones, their own wood. This is the parking lot. This now been converted into a crematorium. The capacity of the Sima Turi crematorium used to be 11. Since the morning today, 6 a.m. They've already burned over a hundred fires, hundred bodies here. Reporting with camera person, you know, the government did a press conference today led by Dr. V.K. Paul, who's in charge of the government's uh, COVID task force. He's also at the Niti Aayog, and he's in fact told people very clearly not just to wear masks while they're at home, because now you don't know who in your house also has COVID. He's also saying do not call people over. So this whole idea of small gatherings or calling friends and family over, he says you need to park it for a while. It is completely unsafe and the government making a very emphatic point about the need for double masking. Here is Dr. Paul. We are remember that if there is a positive person in the house, then as we have shown, it is very important to wear a mask. Because it is the virus that is the rest of the people. And I would like to say that it is the time that we start wearing a mask in the house. We were talking about the outside, but the health of the people is more than the health of the people. So if someone comes to the house, if someone comes to the house, then we have to sit with someone in the house. So we have to wear a mask, so it is the benefit. Today, you also have the knowledge that somewhere there is oxygen, और इसी तरह से जो इन्वेस्टिगेशनल थेरेपी वाली हमारी दवाइयां हैं जैसे कि रेमडेसिविर टोसिलुजुमाब जो कि लिमिटेड सप्लाई में देश में अवेलेबल है बिकॉज 
क्योंकि हमने देखा कि एक सडन सर्च केसेस में आया है तो वाइल एक स्थाई पर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया उनकी सप्लाई बढ़ाने का काम कर रही है दूसरा जरूरत है कि अननेसेसरी ड्रग प्रेस्क्रिप्शन ना हो तो हम एक आप लोगों के द्वारा सबसे यही रिक्वेस्ट करना चाहेंगे कि काइंडली इंश्योर करें जिसको ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई की जरूरत हो उसको ऑक्सीजन दी जाए जितनी क्वांटिटी में ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई की जरूरत हो उतनी ही ऑक्सीजन दी जाए साथ ही जो इन्वेस्टिगेशनल थेरेपीज हैं उनको उनके नॉर्म्स के हिसाब से क्लिनिकल प्रोटोकॉल के हिसाब से ही प्रेस्क्राइब किया जाए एक जो कई बार पैनिक की वजह से एक भय के वातावरण से जो क्रिएट होता है कि एक पर्टिकुलर पेशेंट जिसको शायद ऑक्सीजन थेरेपी की जरूरत नहीं है जिसको शायद हॉस्पिटल बेड की जरूरत नहीं है कई ऐसे केसेस भी हम लोगों की दृष्टि में आए हैं कि भय के वातावरण से कि हो सकता है मुझे फ्यूचर में प्रॉब्लम ना हो ऐसे लोग आउट ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा कंसर्न वह कभी बेड भी ऑक्यूपाई करते हैं जिससे हमें यह समझने की जरूरत है कि ये बेड हो ऑक्सीजन हो ये सारी क्रिटिकल रिसोर्सेज हैं और हम सब के लिए एक सामाजिक बाध्यता के रूप में जरूरी है कि हम ये इंश्योर करें कि हॉस्पिटल एडमिशन जब वारंटेड हो जब गाइडलाइंस के हिसाब से जब मेडिकल प्रिस्क्रिप्शन के हिसाब से हॉस्पिटल एडमिशन की जरूरत हो तभी हम उसको इस्तेमाल करें यह भय का वातावरण क्रिएट ना हो कि अगर मुझे रेमडेसिविर या टोसिलीजुमैब नहीं मिलेगी तो मेरे पर्टिकुलर पेशेंट को खतरा ज्यादा है साथ ही हम इससे संबंधित एक और बात आप लोगों की दृष्टि में लाना चाहेंगे कि जिस तरह से रेमडेसिविर और टोसिलीजुमाब है हमारा क्लिनिकल प्रोटोकॉल क्लियरली आइडेंटिफाई करता है सिमिलरली प्लेस जो कि इससे चीपर है जो वाइडली अवेलेबल है और उन सबको भी हमारी मेडिकल फ्रेटर्निटी द्वारा प्रेस्क्राइब करना चाहिए ताकि लोगों में एक जो भय का वातावरण है वह कम हो सके और साथ ही इफेक्टिव एंड रिक्वायर्ड ट्रीटमेंट हम पेशेंट को दे पाए हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज राहुल कामलिया होप यू एंजॉय दिस वीडियो फॉर द लेटेस्ट न्यूज एंड एनालिसिस लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब द इंडिया टूडे यूट्यूब चैनल एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन to stay updated